uh, is the movie Barkley Square. It looks like Berkeley, it's pronounced Barkley, from 1933. Uh, Lovecraft saw it at least four times. It inspired him to do the story The Shadow Out of Time, one of his classic tales. So before I begin, I'm very pleased to introduce a very special guest that we have with us, Mr. Christopher Gray, who's the grandson of director Frank Lloyd, the director of this picture, who's an extremely well-known Hollywood director. Christopher will uh, talk about his grandfather and the making of this picture, and then I'll read you H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's uh, review of it. So, Christopher. Finding this print. We didn't even know that a restored print of Barclay Square was available. And thanks to the Academy for doing the restoration work. We're probably the first audience to see this film in a theater in over 50 years. 78 years ago, almost to the day, a, a preview, a sneak preview of this film was done just a few miles away in Long Beach. Fox Studios had previewed the film in Hollywood, and it was very well received, but they were worried. Would this film carry over to an American, just a regular middle-class American audience? Would they understand the first time travel film? So they brought it to Long Beach, they showed it to an audience, and sailors, shopkeepers, and vacationers loved it. The film went on to be a hit and uh, uh, made some money. Frank Lloyd, the director of Barclay Square, was a Hollywood pioneer. He began his career in 1911, acting in one real silent films and soon moved on to directing. He made his last film in 1954, a widescreen technicolor film, The Last Command. His most famous film was Mutiny on the Bounty, 1935 Best Picture. That was the one with Charles Lawton and Clark Gable. In 32, Frank Lloyd made Cavalcade, Noel Coward from the Noel Coward play, chronicling three generations of the British family. For that, he got Best Picture, or Best uh, Director of the Year. Now, in between Cavalcade and Mutiny on the Bounty, Frank made two smaller films. One was Hoopla with Clara Bow, the It Girl. It's a great film if you ever get a chance to see it. And the other one, Barclay Square. Now, Barclay Square had started its life as a uh, Broadway play uh, starring Leslie Howard. Leslie Howard came to Hollywood to be in the, be in the movie. And also, John Balderston, who had written the play, came to Hollywood and adapted it to, to, the, to the screen. Now, Balderson has a very interesting career as a screenwriter. He did the first Frankenstein, the first Dracula, and the Mummy. But even more interesting, as a, early in his career, he was a foreign correspondent in Egypt. And he was present at the opening of King Tut's tomb. So, in Berkeley Square, watch for the Egyptian onk. It's very prominent. Um, Frank Lloyd had a special fondness for this film for a number of reasons. He liked and respected uh, Leslie Howard. And he was also working with many of his favorite actor, or supporting actors. He also loved the challenge of a period drama uh, and bringing the past alive with details. In the fancy dress ball sequence, look for the detail of the men having their wigs powdered. Uh, but mainly, he, he was felt that he and his team had done a very good job in opening a stage play up to the broader world of film. Now remember, this was 1933. This was just four years into the sound era. But this film has camera movement, music, sound effects, special effects, good writing, and good acting. Here are just a couple of things to watch for. Peter Standish, early in the film, gives a poetic, beautiful description of reality. 
certainly H.P. Lovecraft of this. The montage of the future, when Helen looks into Peter's eyes and sees the 20th century. The Egyptian Ankh, remember that? And, and early in the film, you'll see Leslie Howard drinking from this pewter mug. He raises it 79 years ago on a soundstage somewhere in Hollywood and gives a toast to George Washington. Tonight, I toast Frank Lloyd for making this film and H.P. Lovecraft for appreciating it and being inspired and doing all the great work that he did. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, uh, Christopher Gray.